Good morning, guys. I am going to get ready to do some content today. So Evelyn Stone is working from home, but she's used to that. She's an adult performer. She directs and films her own material in her apartment. I think I'm going to stay in here because the light is so good. Porn performers were excluded from the $2 trillion COVID stimulus package, but Stone says that for her, things are going pretty well. Have your subscriptions gone up since all this? Yeah, since this all happened, like everything went up. My custom videos, the amount of interaction from my site. I'm honestly working more than I have most of this year, it's this month. And that's because porn consumption is through the roof. In March, Pornhub had a historic spike in worldwide traffic. And OnlyFans, a site that allows subscribers to directly message and pay their favorite performers, is getting around 200,000 new users per day. And especially with the coronavirus shutting down traditional porn sets, performers like Stone think it's better to be independent. I did big productions for about a year and a half. They own you. They own what you do. They pay you. They own, you know, any content that comes out of you. They own the residuals. I did not want to be fully owned by a company. I, I wouldn't be sitting here in a pandemic, like, able to work. Stone's income comes directly from her fans, who subscribe to her sites and pay her for personalized content. And the pandemic is proving that there's money to be made outside of just people going at it on camera. People on my site are more like, what are you doing during quarantine, you know? Like, show me a video of you making coffee or something. Let me see how you make your coffee. There's things that are like... Really? Yeah, like... They want to see you make coffee. <laughs> not everybody wants a pussy in their face, you know, when they talk to this person every time. Maybe they want to be like, oh, this could be my wifey in my head. And also, get me off later tonight, you know? Like, it's a whole thing. There's been a pivot towards uh, two things. I mean, that's authenticity and intimacy. Alejandro Frasius is a managing editor of XBiz, a publisher of adult industry news. He says porn was changing even before COVID-19. We crave realness, we crave connection, even from adult entertainment. I'd imagine people are really looking for a connection more than before, right? Yes. It sounds almost like the pandemic is really just sort of exposing some things that were already in motion, that were already happening in the industry. Yeah, it's poured accelerant and lit a match on, uh, you know, things that were already uh, heading a certain way, you know, talent having uh, more power than ever. And part of the reason talent has more power than ever uh, is their traffic is especially potent. As these independent content creators get more successful and have nicer cameras, they start becoming like miniature studios. So this is just like a home setup. I never move it. It's Chad White has been acting in porn for years, and now he's got his own home studio. But he spends most of his time working behind the scenes for other performers. I manage girls' um, OnlyFans and their other platforms and stuff. I want them to be the model. I'll handle the rest. They could literally disappear for a month, and everyone will think that they've been talking to that person for months. What do you mean? They that you, they've been talking to the person for months. Are you are you but DMing people? I'm DMing people too. So if somebody's subscribed to somebody's OnlyFans, they got this actress that they really love, yeah. they might be talking to you. For a short time, yeah. <laughs> How has business been since the pandemic? We're actually getting a really good improvement. Um, we're, we're not actually plateauing like we thought we would. Um, even though people's money is, is running out, they're still buying porn. Some of the girls are making Fifty to seventy-five thousand. One of them just broke seventy-five um, k, and the other one just broke ninety-five k. Wait, a month? Month, ninety-five k a month. The pandemic isn't just going to change porn in a business sense. It might also get people to think differently about the kind of work that porn performers do. You're basically like a sex therapist bartender of sex. You know, you're on there talking making money for things that you supply them when you supply them in mm. and still being personable. So you're not just buying sex, you're buying an experience with somebody. 